Hello, my name is Frank Christensen and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFF in Europe. This is the third of six training tapes dealing with forward progress. In this training tape, we'll deal specifically with cross field mechanics. So one, of, one wing official is being pushed back close to his sideline and he then gets help from his buddy across the field. We'll have a look at some, some examples to see how it should be done and, and how it, it, it should not be done. But before we get to the game film, let's have a look to see what the rulebook and the MOFO have to say on this topic. In the rulebook, forward progress is defined in rule 292. Forward progress is a term indicating the end of advancement by ball carrier or airborne pass receiver of either team and applies to the position of the ball when it becomes dead by rule. In 513 forward progress uh, it says the most forward point of the ball when declared dead between the end lines shall be determined the determining point in measuring distance gained or lost by either team during a down. Exceptions First one is rule 851 which of course we all know deals with safeties and the second one, when an airborne pass receiver of either team completes the catch inbounds after an opponent has driven him backwards and the ball is declared dead at the spot of the catch, the forward progress is where the player received the ball. In the MOFO, uh, we go to 5-7 dealing with marking spots. In normal play, forward progress usually only needs to be marked to a tolerance of one foot. Since the ball is just less than one foot long, this means there are only three positions that a ball can be in between any pair of yard lines. A. With the nose, the most forward point of the ball on the forward yard line. B. With the middle of the ball midway between the two yard lines. And C. With the tail, the rearmost point of the ball on the back yard line. Note that in this system, the ball is never positioned spanning a line. And finally, um, officials need only mark forward progress to the nearest one of these points, except A, when the line to gain or goal line is concerned, in which case more accuracy is necessary, and B, after change of possession, a start of a new series, in which case the dead ball spot should always be marked with the nose of the ball on the nearest yard mark. And the when in doubt principles number 17 says, if the ball carrier is being held by only one player, the ball is still alive. If held by two or more, forward progress is stopped. Now, let's have a look at some game film. In this first clip, we're looking across the field and this receiver is going to get pushed back into the face of the, of the, of the linesman and he's got a great opportunity for a cross field, but he, uh, unfortunately he doesn't take it. So he ends up with his back to the players um, where he could have, see here at the bottom, uh, he could have taken the help from the, uh, from the line judge. Uh, who is offering him a cross field spot. So let's go back and, and have a look at, at, at what he could do. So we start on the line of scrimmage, obviously. And the ball is caught right there on the line of scrimmage. So there's no real need to explode down the field, even though this is a pass play. So he's more than uh, capable of, of covering this play from right where he is. There's really no need, need to move up this fast, especially not when there is a risk of him being pushed back or the receiver being pushed back uh, from the line of scrimmage. He would have been in perfect position uh, and even now had he still been on the line of scrimmage he would have been perfectly fine and in good position to uh, to cover the dead ball spot and, and wind the clock control the, the clock situation and do his dead ball officiating from back there and then he could nice and easily move up uh, and, and, and get a cross field spot from his, his wing. So uh, a missed opportunity here but, but let's have a look at, at some other plays where uh, 
this crossfield mechanics was done uh, more effectively. In this example, the line judge does a really good job of staying back and doing his his dead ball officiating. So there's no there's no hurry, there's no rush to get up to the spot, and then once he's done with that, he moves up and gets the spot from the linesman. Now, uh, the spot itself probably at the 24, um, and the linesman gives. Uh, gives him the 25 so it's not the most accurate of spots but for the line judge here to stay back it's, it's a matter of safety for himself it's also a matter of, of being able to uh, to dead ball officiate to make sure that nothing happens here and you know one yard here is not the end of the world um, but it is uh, it's it's good job by this line judge to stay back and then once the play is over he moves up and and takes his spot from his uh, line of scrimmage buddy. Here's a similar situation where the pass is going to come to the line judge side of the field here at the bottom of the screen and the receiver is going to get uh, pushed back into potentially into the face of the line judge and he does a really good job of of staying back uh, so that he doesn't get run over by by a you know a flying linebacker that's coming in or or anything that that happens here uh, and then he moves up and gets a spot from his cross field buddy uh, which is the correct way to do it now again the spot is probably around here to 48 yard line and we end up with the 47 so the spot is not a, a super accurate but uh, compared to the safety of the line judge uh, then one yard off in the spot is not a big deal we would much rather have the line judge be able to, to finish this this game uh, than than have uh, then, then be closer and have a have a more accurate spot. So again, you know, for for whoever, whatever wing it is, you know, stay back and let the play finish and uh, and 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 uh, and dead ball officiate. You probably even could have stayed back a little longer, uh, just to make sure that nothing happens between the uh, the runner and and B55 there uh, before you moved up and got your spot from your buddy. Here we have a similar situation where uh, the pass is going to throw or go to the receiver obviously and he's going to get pushed back. The linesman does a, a really good job of staying safe here. So as soon as the ball is thrown and he, and he gets the feeling that, that this receiver is going to get pushed back, you see he also moves into the backfield getting out of harm's way which is really what we've done, what we want done. Uh, and he does a good job of, of, of cleaning up the play before he moves up. Uh, good job uh, with clock management. And he even acknowledges that, yes, I'm going to take your spot over there uh, from the line judge. Now, there's really no reason to, to go, uh, go back and, and pick up the ball. I mean, if you're going to go to the spot and take the spot, uh, if you want to take the ball with you on your way there, uh, that's fine. But, uh, I mean, we don't necessarily have to have the ball down over there. So, uh, no real need to, to, to go back and pick up the ball. But a good job of clock management, dead ball officiating, and recognizing that, that I'm taking the spot from the line of, uh, from the line of scrimmage buddy. Uh, and for the line judge, you know, feel free to move further into the field to indicate that you actually have a spot uh, to that that you can offer to your wing. These days, with the radio, you can also go on the radio and say, uh, "I have a spot for you. I have a spot for you." Uh, but in any case, you know, the uh, the reason is the same. We keep safe on the line of scrimmage, and we still get. Uh, a fairly accurate spot. So well done in this situation. In this last play, we have all elements in play. So the receiver gets the ball. He's then met and moved back. And, and this line judge manages to 
uh, to control the, uh, the clock, to manage the clock, um, and stay safe, and then get the spot from his bo uh, buddy across the field. And the linesman across the field even um, moved in to make it easier to, to get the spot. So again, you know, stay back, move back away from the line of scrimmage if you need to, to stay safe so the players don't get in your face. Um, progress was stopped inbound, so wind the clock while you're doing dead ball officiating. Well done here. And then, you know, you can even take the ball and, and, and get a ball to the next spot. And then indicate to your cross field buddy that you're going to take his spot. And there you go. And then thank you very much for the help. And the linesman can move back out to uh, his sideline. And we can move on with the play. Everybody's safe and we have a good spot to move with. That was the training tape. I hope it made sense and I hope you found something you can use on the field.